As a violinist and a conductor, what is your personal, uh, what is your own personal view towards musical interpretation? To what extent is uh, technique important in communicating a musical a piece of music? Well, the thing is, in order to do anything on a high level, you have to have perfect technique. So you have to work from the age of four or five all your life. You have to practice your craft. You have to be the best you can. And if you get on that certain level, the best technique is the one you don't even notice. It all seems completely natural. An audience should always feel that you're playing just for them now. Not that you've been working so hard, no, no, it's not, never good. But the technique, the best technique is the one you don't notice. And the whole thing oh, is about, yeah, yeah, exactly. And the, the same thing with actors. The ones who you know they're working hard to act, to put on an accent, it's not very good technique. The ones who are completely in the role, in the character, and you believe them. The same thing in music. When you come out, you say, that's the only way to interpret it. You are a veteran of international performance, and um, you have done a remarkable career over the time. What would you say is the single biggest difference in the way you approach your work now as compared to in the past? Yes, for instance, you know, there's some pieces I come back after many years, yes? And just now, for instance, I came back uh, to Shostakovich Great Sonata. I hadn't played it maybe in 20 years. Since I started conducting, I hadn't played this piece. So now I come back to it as violinist, but with an experience of a conductor. I've conducted seven of his symphonies, I've conducted many concertos. So my understanding, also I'm older, and so my life experience is of much course. richer. So I perform this piece, the same notes, the same piece of music in it from a different point of view. So it does, it does affect. When I l listen sometimes, I don't listen to my recordings very often, but sometimes if I listen to an old record of mine, recording of mine, it's uh, like looking at the picture of me as a young man. <laughs> so do you have any feelings as the progressive development of music programs and trainings within Romania? Um... Oh yeah, because you know, the festival that you have now, uh, the last few times that I was here, you have the best of the whole world is coming here. Wow. I just had breakfast with Yuri Temerkanov, who is conducting tonight. He's a great friend and also I've performed many times with him as a soloist. And he's conducting with St. Petersburg Philharmonic right after I performed at the Neum with my NES chamber orchestra. And then uh, there was London Symphony last night and another one. And also Elizabeth Leonska is the soloist and I just saw her in London. So it's, you can meet everybody here. It's a fantastic summit. So at least the Romanian young musician, of course for the public it's fantastic, but also for the young musicians of Romania, they, they, they see live, not just on YouTube or whatever, you know, they see great performers right there at home. This is a rare good, chance, rare chance. chance, rare chance, rare chance. Yes, yes but me, what is the way. luxury to you? What oh, does what luxury, luxury means to you? Luxury for me is to drive in a lovely car, you know, or to travel, you know, on the comfortable plane, that's luxury. I usually, you know, when somebody, uh, but luxury is not so important. Luxury is having wonderful people around me. And that's what I always try to, to surround myself with the best musicians and with the most interesting human beings. That is not luxury, but something I really cannot live without. Other so it's luxury. more about emotional uh, exactly. Connection. It's 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 that for me. That's quality of life. 